With AC electricity, the electrons alternate by flowing forwards and backwards constantly. That's how it gets its name, because the current of electrons alternates in direction. You can think of this type of electricity like the tide of the sea. It constantly flows in and out between the maximums of high tide and low tide. If we followed the copper wires back to the generator, the wires are connected to some coils of wire which sit within the generator. Inside a basic generator, we also find a magnet at the center which is rotating. The magnet has a north and south pole, or you can think of it as a positive and a negative half. The electrons in the wire are negatively charged. As you might already know, magnets push or pull depending on the polarity. So as the magnets rotate past the coils, the positive and the negative half are going to therefore push and pull the electrons within the copper coils and also through the connected copper wires. The magnetic field of the magnet varies in intensity. So as the magnet rotates past the coil, the coil will experience a change in intensity of the magnetic field. This will be from zero, up to its maximum intensity, and then as it passes the coil, it will decrease again back to zero. Then the negative half comes in and pulls the electrons backwards with the same change in intensity. Each full rotation of the magnet will therefore produce this wave pattern known as a sine wave. The voltage is not constant in this type of electricity. Instead, it repeatedly moves from zero up to its peak, back to zero, then to the negative peak, and then finally back to zero again. Frequency refers to how many times this AC sine wave repeats per second. In North America and a few other parts of the world, we find 60 Hz electricity, which means the sine wave repeats 60 times per second. And as each wave has a positive and a negative half, this means its polarity will therefore reverse 120 times per second. In the rest of the world, we mostly find 50 Hz electricity. So the sine wave repeats 50 times per second, and therefore the current reverses 100 times per second. We also have single phase as well as three phase AC electricity. Most homes around the world use single phase electricity. Large commercial buildings, as well as some homes, especially in Europe, will use three phase electricity. Homes in North America use split phase electricity where a center tap transformer splits a single phase into two, which provides two hot wires and a neutral. We've covered how split phase electricity works in detail in our previous video. Do check that out, links down below. With single phase, we have a connection to just a single phase from a generator, so we have just one sine wave. But with three phase electricity, we have a connection to each of the three phases. The phases are coils of wire which were inserted into the generator 120 degrees apart from the previous. This means the coils experience the peak of the rotating magnetic field at different times. And it's this that gives us our three phases, each with a different sine wave that is slightly out of sync from the previous. Remember, electricity wants to get back to its source in a complete circuit. As the current is flowing forwards and backwards at different times in each of the phases, we can essentially connect the phases together and the current will move between the different phases as the polarity of each phase moves forwards and backwards at different times. Any excess will flow in the neutral back to the source if needed, but that's only if the load on any of the phases is unbalanced. With single phase, we have these large gaps between the peaks, but with three phase, these can be combined to fill in the gaps and therefore deliver more power. Okay guys, that's it for this video, but to continue your learning, then check out one of the videos on screen now and I'll catch you there for the next lesson. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, as well as theengineeringmindset.com.